I know some of you are tired of talking about Nintendo Switch 2, and then there's those of you that are kind of like me, where it's nearly impossible to be tired to talking about this hypothetical, probable, likely thing coming this year. But we are sort of what's in the calm before the proverbial storm. It's been a very quiet January. Besides Nintendo dropping the Golden Sun games, which are very hype on NSO, Nintendo Switch Online, Nintendo's really not doing anything right now. And a lot of this is be what happens when Nintendo is preparing for something pretty big. We have entered into the first year of the Nintendo Switch life cycle without at least one major game to look forward to. And I'm not saying Nintendo doesn't have anything. We just had another code recollection come out. You know, we've got Princess Peach Showtime ahead and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD and Thousand Year Door. And that's cool. But none of those are like the sort of games that keep people talking. If you remember, obviously last year heading into 2023, Tears of the Kingdom, right? Talk of the Town was supposed to come out in 2023, originally 2022, delayed to 2023. And it was just a lot of hype surrounding the eventual release of that game. That wasn't even the only thing because we had Fire Emblem Engage, which is typically in a franchise that sells four plus million units dropping in January. So... We already knew about that stuff, and then obviously we, we had Pikmin 4 and yada yada, so it ended up being a pretty hype year last year. Mario Wonder obviously coming out of nowhere, so I love what Nintendo did last year, but if you actually look at the entire history of Switch from the end of 2016 when Switch was announced in October all the way into 2024, every single year until now, Nintendo has had a major game to be hyped about heading into a year. Now, you could argue, if you want, that we have Metroid Prime 4, right? Metroid Prime 4 is that major game to be hyped about, except Nintendo hasn't talked about Metroid Prime 4 since 2019, back when they're like, hey, this is delayed, and we're switching it over to Retro Studios. So even if we try to get hyped about Metroid Prime 4, it's artificially created hype, right? We are creating the buzz because, one... We have really nothing else major to talk about. And two, the game was announced in 2017. So we're kind of like, it has to come now, right? Like, if it doesn't come this year, when? So that's just how we feel. But Nintendo themselves hasn't really given us anything to be excited about. In fact, the last time, right before around a direct time, Nintendo's you know president came out and was like, hey, remember the rumors on Switch 2, Gamescom, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they're not entirely true and yada, 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 right? Nintendo went into denial mode. That's pretty much the last time we've had any real news from Nintendo. And when I say real news, I'm not talking about Splatfest. I'm not talking about the NSO stuff. I'm talking about something that generates real hype and interest among the Nintendo fans. And that is why I keep thinking. I think this is actually the largest sign that Nintendo Switch 2 is literally going to be announced any month now. It could be next month. Could be March, could be April, but I feel like it's coming fairly soon because right now there's not a lot of excitement around Nintendo. And that feels weird to say for a company that is peaking in terms of its stock values and all that stuff. We had the Zelda movie announcement last year and the Mario movie did over a billion and things seem to be on the up and up. We have, you know, amusement park updates and that's cool. But the core of Nintendo's business is video games. And right now, it's kind of dry. I mean, we don't even have a new trailer for Princess Peach Showtime to at least glance at, even though it's not the most exciting of releases. And this is just something I think we're going to have to get used to. I've seen a few comments and had a few conversations with a lot of the fans of my channel across several social media barriers where a lot of them were like, hey, Nate, when are you going to stop talking about Nintendo Switch 2? When are you going to... Start talking about other things. We miss when you used to just talk about Tears of the Kingdom for months on end. We miss when you were dropping Prime News episodes every day with all of these fun third-party game updates and Nintendo updates and indie games. And we miss all the Nintendo Direct speculation and excitement. And, well, look, I miss it too. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Like, talking about Nintendo Switch 2 every single day 
it's a little boring at times, right? Like we want some more exciting things, but here's the problem. Nintendo isn't giving us those things yet. And while Nintendo does tend to be a little quiet in January, they've had big January releases in the past that we could be excited about. Just last year, Fire Emblem Engage. So I think it's worth thinking. In fact, I think it was actually a year ago today, Fire Emblem Engage came out. Shout out to Fire Emblem Engage, even though you no longer have physical copies available. Sad day. That's right. They actually don't sell them anymore. This is a story we already covered. Maybe the biggest story of the year was Nintendo just not making a bunch of physical games. Look, I get it. But this is how it goes when you're heading into a new system. Do you remember how dry the news was after E3 2016? We're all hyped over Breath of the Wild, but then things were just super dry right until they announced the Nintendo Switch in October. This is just what happens when Nintendo's in a transitionary stage. Everything gets real quiet. There's not a lot of news to talk about. There's not a lot of big things to hype up because Nintendo is frankly holding back and they're holding back on purpose. Why do you think the September Direct last year didn't give us any major brand new game from Nintendo to look forward to this year? Because any major games they have right now are likely going to be attached to the Nintendo Switch 2 whether it's a 3D Mario or the next Mario Kart, even the next Mario Party. And those are just talking about Mario games. This isn't even getting into Zelda remakes and remasters or diving even deeper into top-down Zeldas or new Animal Crossings, which still might be a bit off. This isn't talking about new Splatoon stuff, although they did tease the Splatoon 3 DLC. I know that's still a thing that's coming. Probably talk about that at the next Direct. But the point is that Nintendo didn't, give us anything to really chew on just here's some more ports and remasters and here's a spin-off peach game because this is what we have right now it is the weakest lineup nintendo has entered into a year with yet when it comes to nintendo switch and this has created this quiet front now many of you may just go well if there isn't anything to talk about nate Maybe you just shouldn't make videos right now, right? There is nothing to talk about. Maybe it's now when you get into retrospectives or you start talking about other aspects or, or other news in the industry, because certainly Xbox just had our direct and there's been big news there. And I could do that, but then I'm at risk of alienating the fan base we've created that wants nothing about Nintendo. It doesn't make sense to just expand the news coverage because Nintendo is being quiet. This is a very much intentional silence. So I'm just going to sit back here and keep doing what we're doing. And I know it might be annoying. You might be tired of the rumors. You might be tired of the speculation, tired of every little thing about Switch 2 seeming like a big deal. But it's not just Switch 2. Today we dropped a video on Zelda Legos and tried turning that into talking about a possible Ocarina of Time remake. Probably not going to happen, but maybe it's going to happen. The Legos certainly are going to happen. We know that. I got copyright striked about it last year. But this is what happens. This actually makes me more excited. The quieter Nintendo is, the more exciting things that are coming. A quiet Nintendo means we're just letting the sleeping dog lie. And when it wakes up, oh boy, I hope you're ready for the goodness Nintendo has in store. Because look, we're probably getting a Nintendo Direct next month, right? We presume it's only about Nintendo Switch stuff. Maybe it's about more than that. We don't know. But assuredly, we have a Nintendo Direct coming. And yes, a system reveal. Maybe a system reveal, a Nintendo Direct, and who knows, a damn, you know, Pokemon Day stuff all in the same month. It could be a very busy February. But for right now, this is normal. And I know you're nervous. I know you're, you know, you got trepidation. You're worried Nintendo might mess up the system. You're worried the games they might announce might not be good enough. You're worried that, hey, all these rumors could be a bunch of puffs of smoke, which by the way, rumors are meant to be doubted. So you should already expect the rumors not to be true. In the end, all we can do is wait and wait and wait. And maybe watch some NBA games if you're into sports or you know NFL playoff games this weekend. Go Pack Go, uh, you know, if you're so inclined. Or the Texans and Ravens, I believe, play today as well. 
or you can go read a book or you know what do this crazy thing that's called pick up your switch and play video games look we're gonna keep talking about games we're gonna keep talking about switch 2 until nintendo gives us something to talk about we're a news channel we're a speculation channel where you cover rumors and leaks and right now nintendo's giving us none of that so we're stuck at the fringes of the internet we're stuck at the fringes of our mind going a little wild going a little crazy about this thing we hope is coming this thing we believe has to exist because we're entering the eighth year of switch this thing that only makes sense to exist because there's hardly anything to be excited about and nintendo's being silent now we have investors Buying stock like crazy, anticipating the Switch 2 coming out. We have projections. We have expectations. So now we just wait until Nintendo's ready to deliver us the goods one way or another. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.